Hello, I'm Robin, and on Book of the Week this week, we're looking at Dog Show, 1961 to 1978 by Shirley Baker, published by Hoxton Mini Press. This delightful book is book three in the series Vintage Britain and has a retail price of fifteen, well, fourteen pounds ninety-five in the UK and nineteen dollars ninety-five in the US, but is available a little bit cheaper from a well-known online retailer, or you could purchase directly from Hoxton Mini Press. I would have become aware of this book presumably by seeing a review in Black and White Photography magazine, and because the subject matter is just such a an amazing one and I'm such a big fan of Elliot Erwitt and his work on dogs, I took the plunge and bought this book a couple of years ago and have just enjoyed it so much. It's a fantastic book. Hoxton Mini Press also collaborate with the British Journal of Photography on the various books that they produce. The quality of the book itself is beautiful. It's a very tactile cover, and the pages themselves, they're not entirely matte, but the, they don't have too much of a shine to them. This is on the back of the book. When Shirley Baker began taking photographs at dog shows in the 1960s, the hairdos of the owners were more impressive than those of their groomed canines. Not only a fascinating portrait of the phenomenon, dog show also captures the tender, amusing and at times obsessive relationship between humans and their dogs, and I must say, it does it incredibly well. I can also thoroughly recommend Sofa Sessions, Conversations with Martin Parr, a brilliant series put out by Martin Parr and the Martin Parr Foundation on YouTube. I will link it below, but there's an episode with Nan Levy, who was Shirley Baker's daughter, and it is a fascinating watch, a 16-minute interview, which is worth 16 minutes of anybody's day. The card inside the book explains a little bit about Hox and Mini Press, saying that they're a small publisher from East London uh, looking to bring unusual photography to a wide audience, with arty books being beautiful but they don't need to be big or expensive. It explains about the Vintage Britain series, dedicated to rediscovering the best photographs taken in Britain in the late 20th century. And there's a small uh, paragraph about Shirley Baker as well. Shirley Baker, 1932-2014, to 2014, was a British social documentary photographer known for her street photographs of working class areas of Manchester, taken in the 1960s and 70s and I feel like I've got a book of those photos in my Amazon wish list at the moment. Anyway, uh, her acute observation and artistic eye can be seen throughout her work, which has been exhibited in the UK and around the world.
And here's a selection of some of my favourite photos from this book. I just love how dogs and humans quite often imitate each other's positioning. Uh, we see it a lot in Elliot Erwitt's work as well. And I say that because I think this work is just as good. Lovely little Frenchie there. And uh, what have we got here? Again, just the dog imitating and reflecting kind of the position of the paw and the leg. And oh, this work is just so, so good. I cannot recommend this book highly enough. Uh, we talk about the haircuts and the dog's haircuts. And that's a perfect example of it. And so is this just fantastic such good observation and the dalmatian this makes me think of a friend of mine who always has dalmatians and the uh, the neck scarf there as well this is ever so reminiscent isn't it of uh, one of the most famous famous of elia erwitz works and this is just fantastic i'm so so glad that i own this book it's just brilliant And the next episode of Book of the Week will be Good Morning America, Volume 3 by Mark Power.